Hello everyone, my name is Marie with Connect and I am back with another video. In today's video we are going to talk about the super popular messaging app Kakao Talk. This is part of a series of Kakao apps and how to use them. So if you're new to Kakao, Kakao is a company that owns for Kakao Talk, Kakao Taxi, Kakao Maps, Kakao Pay, Kakao Bank and so on. So in this series of videos we will go through these apps one by one and we will teach you how to use them and some tips and tricks on things that you might not know. Okay, let's get started. So you go to the App Store and in the App Store you search for Kakao Talk Free Calls and Text. You click on Install wait for it to install and once it's finished you can open it up and start making your account your app needs permissions and why does it need permissions because you need to be able to sync your phone contacts with kakao and storage to save pictures music etc everything that you can send through kakao so accept everything the only thing you need to make a Kakao account is an email address. You can sign up for an account without having a Korean phone number and you can add this later, but this is not a must. So when you come to the welcome screen, you have the sign up possibilities or the login possibility. So let's start by signing up. You have to agree to all the terms and conditions. You can add a foreign phone number and you can change that number later. So you type in your phone number and you will receive a verification code which you will need to fill in to get started. Now you can add your name, a profile picture, your date of birth. We recommend adding your date of birth because when it's your birthday in Korea people like to send cacao gifts and when it's your birthday this is visible to them and they can send you a gift or nice emoticons. When you have done that you can add your email address but bear in mind that you cannot change your email address once you have made your Kakao account. So make sure to use the right email address when you get started. Send verification email. And now you have created your Kakao account. First of all, you want to complete your own profile. You can see you only have a profile picture, but you can do so much more. You can add a status. You can change your name, you can add profile pictures, and you can add background pictures. We can also add some stickers. For example, when it's your birthday, you can add a sticker. Or I like this one, happy cat. I want to put this, yeah, why not on top of that? Um, and we can do countdown. For example, if you're in a relationship or countdown to my birthday. You can do lots of different things. Add some nice stickers, use some of the cacao emoticons, etc. Now that we have done that, let's see how we can share our cacao ID with other people. Here you can create your own cacao ID. Connect Korea is available. Okay, we have made our cacao ID and this is searchable. We also have a QR code, so we can share this QR code with people and if they scan it, they can find our Kakao profile. Now, let's have a look how we can add friends. So at the top, you can see this button, add friends. So you can choose how to add your friend. If they have a QR code, you can scan their QR code. You can also add them by contacts, which means they need to have their phone number connected to their account or you can search by ID or you can invite them through text message or link or etc. So now that we have one friend, we can start chatting by clicking on their name. And for example, we will start chatting. Hi, send. And the number one means that this message has not been read yet by the person who received it. And once that person reads the message, the number one will disappear. There's many other things that you can do. You can send them pictures, you can send them a photo that you make in the moment, you can call them for free. You can send a calendar invite, your location, a voice note, other cacao contacts, files, etc. 
there's also a selection of emoticons. And what are emoticons? Emoticons are stickers which you can send to your friend and your account comes with a set of free stickers. So let's download the free ones and you can send this to your friends. You can also buy emoticons, which I will show you later. If you click on the top, there's lots of other things which you can see or do. There's chat room archives where you can see all the pictures, files and links you send calendar, you can send music, or you can do a poll or announcement when it's a chat. And then you can export messages, back up all your messages, delete all chat messages, delete the content, or leave the chat room. It is also possible to make a voice or video call on Kakao. So if you click that button, you'll have the option for both voice call or video call, and this is free. Now I will show you how to block a friend. So if you want to block a friend, you can tap on your friend and then at the bottom you see block. And it will ask you, are you sure you want to blo block this friend? And this is how you can block a friend. You can then also unblock a friend by adding them again. Now I've shown you how to add friends. I can also show you how to make chats. So there are different kinds of chats. There's a regular chat just between friends, then there's a secret chat and an open chat. A regular chat is just a chat which you can have with one or more friends. A secret chat is a chat room that requires messages to be read with a decryption key stored on your device. So these cannot be intercepted. And then you have open chats. Open chats are special chats of interest groups which you can freely join. For example, you see open chats trending topics. BTS butter, friends, Namjoon. You can browse to the chat rooms and find topics that you are interested in and it's a great way of making new friends and sharing things about your passion or hobbies. By clicking on the three dots there's lots of other settings that you have which you can use to pimp your profile or to buy emoticons. Without a Korean phone number, you can not buy cacao gifts, but you can still buy cacao emoticons using PayPal. You can buy emoticons for yourself or you can send them as a gift for one of your friends. Now I will show you on another phone all the things you can do once you have a Korean phone number. So you can see there is much more things available like gifts, you can send gifts to your friends and gifts could be birthday gifts, food coupons, anything you like. These are gifts that you can send. You can also find your own gifts here. I do not have any gifts now, but this is where I would see what gifts people have sent me. So let's have a look at all the things available. These are things that you can send to your friend as a thank you for their birthday, for New Year's. Other things that you can find is, for example, shopping. You can also do cacao shopping, which you would buy things for yourself using your cacao account. You can see lots of deals. If you want to buy some kimchi, you can buy that here. Then you can also send money to friends or pay bills with your cacao pay. Here I can pay, I can send money to friends, I can request money from friends or I can pay in shops if they have cacao pay. I will not be showing you now how to set up cacao pay because we have another video on that topic. But this is just an overview and you can see all the things you can do with cacao pay. Thank you everyone for watching. We hope this video was useful for you and you learned something new about how to use Kakao Talk. If you have any questions, suggestions or other recommendations, just let us know in the comments section below. We hope to see you next time and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Hope to see you again next time. Bye!